Good morning, my name is Steve North. I'm an Operations Section Chief with Northwest Team 10 with an operational update for Wednesday, November 18th. Yesterday we had a fantastic day on the fire. The sun was out, the winds were down, so we got a lot of work done on the fire. Uh, we had suppression repair uh, occurring throughout the fire area, processing up in Division Delta up on the north end, hand line and dozer repair uh, throughout the incident. Yesterday I was able to get up and take a flight. Um, that flight was posted up on YouTube and Facebook for those of you that haven't seen it. So you might check it out. We came out of the airport, caught the line here and flew around uh, the bulge down here um, on the southern end of the fire. But the fire took a big run right up to the top of the ridge, but it, and it barely uh, crossed the ridge. So that's, that's very evident on the video. There is, however, a couple little parts of heat up there. There's a little bit of heat here and then a little bit down, uh, down the slope. Now anytime there's uh, active fire out on, the, uh, out on the landscape, we still want to take that seriously. So uh, we'll try to do some bucket work, uh, drop water from helicopters on that today if we can. Uh, with the predicted wind today, it, it is a concern. However, just remember that fire likes to run uphill. It does not like to run downhill. So even if it does flare up today, we would anticipate a very, very short because it's towards the top of the slope very, very short runs to the top of the uh, ridge. We also were working in the Pingree area. We had a crew in there above CSU. Uh, we did some helicopter drops on that to try to cool down those hot spots above Pingree as well. So we had some great uh, questions come in. One of the questions was, uh, do we still use smoke jumpers? And the answer is yes. There are 450 smoke jumpers in the national system. They work out of nine smoke jumper bases. Uh, do we use them on these types of fires? No, not normally. Smoke jumpers are, the program is designed for what we call initial attack, or we, we abbreviate that by IA. So these IA resources, let's just say you have a lightning bust come through the mountains here. They will dispatch these smoke jumpers, they'll, they'll jump into the fire, they'll suppress these fires while they are small, and then they'll hike back out until they, to a location where they can pick them up. Nationally, we're successful of, of containing and extinguishing 90% of the fires. So most fires that are out on the landscape never make it to be these big campaign fires. What's happening here is what we try to avoid. It's also worthy of noting we have another program called a repeller program. And there are 275 repellers uh, in the United States working out of th 13 bases. And those repellers uh, repel out of helicopters um, come into the incident and then they will mop up a fire and contain it while it's small as well and then hike out to where they can be picked back up by the helicopter. So that's it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to send them in. I'll be here for a few more days and I'd love to answer your questions. Thank you.